So, uh, for those colleagues of mine who are um, trying to help people who are afflicted by curses or black magicians or anything, um, it's very hard to put yeah, years of experience into a few videos. Um, also, things tend to be very different in different regions of the world, what type of yeah, magic is popular there, what type of curses are popular there. So often these are very localized phenomena. So I tend to try to find out like who um, is the is the is the victim, and what type of culture uh, are they interacting with. Um, so is it indeed um, the black magic likely to be a form of voodoo or uh, shamanism or um, yeah whatever it is, uh, Rosicrucians, because unfortunately, uh, yeah, although most Rosicrucians do really nice things and really help lots of people clean wonderful houses, some of them turn bad and use the knowledge in rather, well, less good ways. So it's important to know your enemy before you uh, wade in and do something. Um, as I said before, the side effects can be rather bad, so um, I've sometimes yeah, had to yeah, stop doing any other work because I've become unable to do any other work for sometimes weeks or even months because I had to heal and recover from uh, yeah, the struggles, which themselves could sometimes also take several days. Um, Working with uh, uh, one of the things really to watch out for is that you don't go as one person against the whole cabal. So if you're going helping one person who's being attacked by one person, that is usually a kind of a, a winnable situation. If the other person is part of a magical group or a magical circle with maybe 20 mages who are pooling their powers and resources in rituals, um, yeah, that's not very wise to even to try to uh, to interfere in that. It's kind of a, a doomed exercise and it will cause you a lot of harm and won't do your client a lot of good. So you have to pick your battles really. Um, the other thing to think about is really to try to use whatever positive resources you have available um, sometimes if I expect something yeah, insidious or horrendous will happen to me, it is good to uh, create a copy of yourself. So you can uh, use that one to in a way swap out your old energy body, replace it with the new energy body. Even though it, it costs a lot of energy to create such a copy and you will lose a lot. At least the basic structure will be a healthy normal structure instead of one filled with curses and bleeding energy everywhere. Sometimes it is easier to in a way, start with a fresh copy of yourself rather than to try to repair uh, the damage to your being. So yeah, study a little bit of uh, Egyptian magic, how they create copies of themselves. Um, or within the voodoo it's also uh, quite possible. Um, you can also do it using uh, your your dream body, uh, storing a copy of yourself in the in the lower astral, in the personal astral, so you can retrieve it through conscious dreaming. So there's several ways to um, in a way keep a copy of yourself safe, to uh, undo a lot of things which may happen to you if you're fighting against a black magician. Um, even studying uh, what other black magicians are doing or uh, how things work can be dangerous um, because a lot of these websites or books or whatever they're also connected to their source which as I said in case of summoners can be demonic in origin and those spirits won't like it if you are trying to find out how they work or how to work against them, what their true names are and things like this. So that type of yeah, research carries its own risks. So be careful with that. Um, what I 
tend to do, it doesn't always go well, but I tend to, yeah, always ask higher powers, like should I or shouldn't I take this case or try to help. And sometimes they advise me to, that I should try, doesn't mean it always works. But it means that, yeah, you have a fair chance of it working. Um, so you're not going up against something which is really not in your, in your category. So I tend to try to pray before uh, yeah, accepting such a challenge. Um, it's also important to, to know just the normal steps which you have if you're following the light path. Um, they're going to be yeah, a kind of a repetition of that. So there will be distraction, there will be attempts to destroy you, there will be thought implants, there will be emotional implants. There will be um, blackmail going on, there will be fears, and if you can't deal with that, then you shouldn't get into it. So, if you're not prepared to get into these types of challenges, uh, don't start. Really don't, because you can count on it that these things will happen. Uh, not every time you try to help a person, but uh, I'd say at least one out of three times they, you will be tested for all your weaknesses and they will try to pass, press on all your pain points to try to stop you from uh, continuing with your work. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit of the general advice I can, uh, I can give. Um, also make sure that the things are as much in your favor as you can make them. So try to um, yeah, do the treatments you do uh, if possible, in a place of your choosing, filled with your energy, filled with your allies, uh, where you have all your resources immediately available for, to you. Also, before you start your work, call upon your allies, your spirit guides, pray for guidance, uh, pray for strength, um, heal yourself as much as possible, um, make sure that your yeah, batteries are charged, your aura is whole, um, and otherwise don't go into it. So I always say don't start a project like this until you've healed up from whatever previous project you did. So, uh, because trying to do too many of these things too close together, uh, yeah, you're bound to, uh, to damage yourself and to damage yourself more than nece necessary. So just like um, a football soccer player, you don't go in when yeah you've been hurt in a previous soccer match. You sit in the couch until your injury is healed, and then you go into the next match. It's the same with um, yeah dealing with this type of thing. So yeah, be careful. Take care of yourself. Try to find allies, especially a healer, who can help you recover uh, in between. Uh, yeah, match. Uh, different bouts of the of the struggle with the black magician if he doesn't give straight away which they usually don't um, make sure also that as far as possible your family your loved ones are safe and that you um, isolate yourself as much as possible from possible distractions and other people whose problems may distract you so you should be aware that yeah uh, um, maybe your loved ones will get sick or they will get into trouble or other things to pull your energy, your focus away from what the hell you're doing. So they, if you're vulnerable to such emotional blackmail, also don't start it. Um, because if you're vulnerable, they will use it against you. If, you're, if it doesn't work on you, they won't waste their energy by harming uh, your children or your partner because they know it will only make you fight harder. So you really have to have the right attitude before embarking on such, uh, yeah, this type of work. Well, I hope at least some of you or one of you will take over from me because I really don't want to do this type of stuff anymore. <laughs> Which is also why I'm making this video and trying to give other people some hints and tips on uh, how to do this. Unfortunately, it's very necessary because um, people do horrible things to each other 
and without people to undo it people will suffer horrendously for years on years and sometimes even inclinations of one after another if the curses are implanted very deeply um, so it is very very necessary very valuable work to remove these things and you have my gratitude if you're even going to attempt these things you're a hero okay good luck out there <laughs>